Regulatory red tape coming out of the Biden administration is strangling business, especially small business, maybe the entire economy, and causing inflation. So let's talk about this. We've got Steve Moore, the Committee to Unleash Prosperity, and host of More Money on WABC Radio, and Douglas Holtz Eakin, uh, former CBO director and now president of American Action Forum. Doug, I'm just looking at your uh, <laughs> latest report here. It gets better and better, or I mean, it gets worse and worse, you know what I mean. <laughs> Uh, the yeah. final rule costs for Mr. Biden, 1.6 trillion final rules, uh, for Mr. Trump were a minus 160 billion. So Trump's fell uh, enormously, 160 billion. Biden's up 1.6 trillion. And then you got another one, paperwork hours increasing, I guess, under Mr. Biden, uh, 292 million, and Mr. Trump, 74 million. So, um, is there any end to this? <laughs> and right to the end, they just keep piling this on? Is that, is that what's happening? Uh, well, there appears to be no end to it. You know, we've kept track since day one of each of those administrations. And, in you know, at the same point in the Trump administration, they had actually reduced the regulatory burden. It was something, Larry, I did not think could be done. Mm. It's one of the great accomplishments of the Trump administration. And um, uh, this administration has imposed more regulatory costs in less than one full term that Barack Obama did in two, which is hard to wrap your head around. And they did almost as much in a week, $800 billion, as he did in two terms. So this is an onslaught of unprecedented proportions. And it's really hard on small businesses. It's hard on every business that's trying to control costs. They're going to have to pass these costs along. We don't need that in this inflationary environment. So th this is a real Achilles heel for Bidenomics. This is something that isn't partisan. It's just a matter of adding up the numbers and reporting them to the public. It's a problem. Steve Moore, I mean, I think you can argue it's blunting growth. It's also causing higher inflation. You've got a lot of regulatory inflation built in to business activity. Uh, the, uh, the Bidens don't like uh, business activity. They're always railing against uh, businesses and blaming them for all that ails us. But it looks like there's no end to it. Yeah, you know, they don't like businesses. You know what else they don't like, uh, Larry? And this will really, uh, you know, make angry. They don't like profits. You know, they, right. they think that the reason that uh, that we have inflation is because companies are t making too much money. So if they just get rid of profits, we won't have an inflation problem. Of course, we won't have any businesses or jobs without profits. Uh, I think you're the one who used to say <laughs> the profits are the mother's milk of the stock market. Um, let's be specific, by the way. I mean, I love Doug's report. Just last week, the, the Biden administration says we're going to not going to allow any more uh, coal development in some of the richest coal areas in the world in states like Wyoming and Montana. I mean, come on. We get a third of our energy from coal around the world, and we're not, he's not going to allow development. Another one, he wants to regulate the Internet for the first time, uh, you know, ever. Um, he wants to basically require every single American car company to only make electric vehicles, even though most Americans don't want to buy an electric vehicle. I mean, I could go on and on, but these are real costs to families. I want to make one other quick point, if I could, Larry. I just, I really applaud your opening statement about that just dreadful, not just dreadful speech, but an unpatriotic speech by our president. And you know these statistics, but I want to make sure your viewers do too. Under Donald Trump, Lowest unemployment rate ever for black Americans, mm -hmm. lowest poverty rate ever for black Americans, and the biggest income gains ever for black Americans. How dare they say he's a racist? Yeah, well, it, yeah, it, it just, it, it's not so much that Trump is a racist, <laughs> although that is implied, I suppose, but it's that racism right. runs the country, that this is some kind of white supremacist right. terrible, Jim Crow terrible. country. That is not true. Blacks have done very, very well, as attested by the data that we put in the riff and, and you're echoing. That's right. um, and actually, you know, Doug Colsey, again, just on this subject, we went through uh, Morehouse College grads, uh, their first year jobs right. is 12% pay, 12% higher pay than the national average uh, with a guilt edged list of um, employers. So Trump, I mean, Trump, Biden is not only being racist on this, he's also wrong, factually. They're doing great. But, you know, it would be nice yeah. if we didn't regulate all the small owner-operated businesses out of business, you know, in the next four years under a second uh, Biden administration. I think, I mean, I think the regulatory story, Doug, is unheralded. It's the reason we love having you on the yeah. show. I don't think there's ever enough attention paid 
to the benefits of deregulation and the demerits of re-regulation. And this is where the Bidens have achieved unbelievable re-regulation across the board. I'll leave it to you to describe it, but this is unfortunately one of their <laughs> greatest achievements. Well, they, and they're certainly trying to cement it. So one of the things that's going on right now is they are pushing regulations out the door as fast as they can so that if it turns out to be the case that Donald Trump is elected president, Republicans control the House and the Senate, they cannot roll those regulations back. If they do it at the mm. midnight hour late in his, in his uh, term, they can be rolled back. We saw that uh, in 2017. They're trying to make sure all of this, $1.6 trillion plus, stays on the books and as a result would be a permanent burden on the on the companies that are affected. So, I, you know, we've tracked this since the uh, American Action Forum was opened. Uh, there's never been anything like the, the past couple of years on the regulatory front. And I just want to have one footnote uh, on something Steve Moore said. Quickly. This whole notion of greedflation, profits driving inflation, has just been debunked by the San, Fr San Francisco Fed uh, staff. Yes, yes. That's a nonpartisan group, yes. and they just said, look, there's nothing there. Profits are the... Uh Profits are the mother's milk of stock and the lifeblood of the economy. You can't expand unless you're making money. I got to get out. You're both great. Steve Moore, Doug Holtz, thank you ever so much, fellas.